A heat engine does 5,000 joules of work while producing 9,000 joules of heat. Find the efficiency of this heat engine. A heat engine works between two temperatures, Th and Tl, and it uses the fact that the heat would flow spontaneously from high temperature to low temperature, and uh, it pulls some of this heat out to do work and leaves some of the waste heat flowing into the low temperature region. This part is the heat engine. It does uh, 5,000 joules of work. When it produces 9,000 joules of heat, since this is the heat the heat engine produces, this is the heat coming out of the heat engine. So 9,000 joules is not the QH, but the QL. Because QL is the heat coming out of the engine, QH is the heat entering the engine. The efficiency of a heat engine is defined as the work output W divided by the energy input, the energy we supply to the heat engine, which is QH. So the W is the 5,000. What do you think QH equals to? Because energy is conserved, the QH splits into QL and W. That means QH must be 5,000 plus 9,000. So this will give us 35.7%. That's the efficiency of this heat engine. The exhaust temperature of that heat engine is 80 degrees Celsius. The maximum possible efficiency of a heat engine working between the same temperature range is 60%. I mean the same temperature range as that heat engine. The same temperature range means the same TH and TL. What must the high temperature of that heat engine be? The maximum possible efficiency is the ideal efficiency or the Carnot efficiency, which is TH minus TL divided by TH. We do not know the high temperature but we do know the low temperature, and we need the temperatures to be in kelvins. So 80 degrees Celsius has to be 273 plus 80. And this efficiency equals to 60%. So I can multiply by TH on both sides, so I get TH minus 273 plus 80, equals to 60% is 0 0.6 times TH. So if I subtract by 0 0.6 TH on both sides, I get 0.4 TH equals to, if I move this to the other side, this is 353, so the TH must be 883 Kelvins.